Hey Libra, and thank you guys so much for tuning into your July mid-month spread. All right, guys, so um, this is going to be for July 15th to August 15th. Just going to be a general read. Whatever comes out, comes out. Now, I am almost caught up with all my readings. I'll be by my computer all day today, all day tomorrow. I pretty much canceled all my weekend plans. So if you guys do want a reading, I'm literally doing them as I come in, okay? So let's see what is going on. What is going on for the sign of Libra from July 15th? To August 15th, the sign of Libra. July 15th to August 15th. All right, one more shuffle. All right, guys, let's do this. All right. All right, so. The energy of this reading is the Four of Swords, okay, guys? So with the Four of Swords being this energy, um, you guys may have taken a break from something. You may just be thinking about um, possibly accepting an offer or not. There might have been an offer that came in, and you're kind of just thinking about it. You're not necessarily taking it, or maybe you offered it, and the person's not necessarily taking it because maybe they're being a bit guarded here with that Queen of Swords, okay? But let's jump into the reading and see what's going on and pull some clarifiers while we're at it. All right, so the first card you guys have in your past is the Six of Wands. And I do apologize in advance, I got a new camera, so if anything funny is going on, I'm just adjusting to the changes, guys. All right, so I have the Six of Wands here, so you guys are definitely feeling good about something. Um, you may have gotten, you know, a short-term victory or something that um, was just really good. Okay, yeah. So it's like you're being patient for something. And when you have the Six of Wands, it's like you're celebrating something, but there's still you know, more work that needs to be done in the situation. So the celebration can't last too long. So it's like you're happy about something, but you're also um, being patient at the same time. And it could be a new venture in love, all right? So it could have been rather. So yeah, so you're feeling good new love possibly coming in or something that's just really emotionally fulfilling and you're just waiting to see how things are going to play out and we do have the knight of wands in the reverse okay so with the knight of wands in the reverse this person or situation uh may have been um a little less reliable than what you may have hoped for this could have been you being a little less reliable than uh, what the situation or the other person hoped for okay and it's like you know, you guys could be dealing with the water sign, but you it's like you're not using your intuition with whatever's happening. So you have someone who could be unreliable, maybe a little bit promiscuous, and they're trying to be loving at the same time. Now, um, okay. Yeah, so maybe it was a water sign that you were dealing with, okay? That's definitely possible. The last card you guys have for your past is the king of swords in the reverse so this could be you guys just acting the fuck up after finding out that somebody wasn't as reliable as you thought could have been a fire sign you were dealing with could have been a water sign that you were dealing with but you know this this king of swords this is you and in the reverse the guy's a bit scary okay because he um he's just he's not thinking everything that he's doing is um you know it's just self-gratifying and he's only worried about gratifying himself all right and whatever happened i feel like someone or a situation was unreliable for you guys because now you guys are up and you're worried and you're having a hard time moving away from the situation now in your present moment you have the ace of swords in the reverse so again there could be some arguments there could be two people just trying to hurt each other just to hurt one another okay just trying to get one over the other and yeah you're getting um you know, the King of Wands, so you still have this fire energy going on, so could possibly be talking to a fire sign. But yeah, there's definitely some arguments there. Okay, you have the King of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, I can't talk today, and the King of Wands. So it's like your passion, it's, it's, it could be something that you're passionate about that you want to be stable with, but it's just like there's just trouble on the home front, okay? You're, you could be passionate, you could be stable, you could, you guys literally have every element here, so it could be any element that you're dealing with, okay? Now the next card you have for your present moment is the sun card. All right, so things are taking a good turn. What's going on with the sun card? Okay. 
you're feeling good, you may have a lot of different routes. You could go with whatever venture or whatever uh, relationship it was that, you know, came in for you. And you may be choosing one of those options, okay? So it's like you could have a lot of things coming for you and you're being strong about it. But with the Two of Pentacles, this is dropping the ball on something. This is um, deciding what it is that you want. And the next card, you guys, you know, could be acting up again. This is you again. So you have the Knight of Swords in the reverse. So you have the King of Swords in the reverse and the Knight of Swords. So I feel like someone or something um, is doing something to just really tick you off. Something that you want to give up on and just run. You guys just want to hit the floor running, okay? Yeah, the chariot is fast movement. So you could be moving away from the situation, moving away from this person. But it's whatever is happening, it's happening with speed. All right, so going into your future, you have the three of wands in the reverse. So there's something that you may have been hoping for that's just not coming in. All right, and it seems like whatever situation this is, honestly, it's like it makes you feel good for a moment, but then you feel like shit. And then you get pissed off. And then you argue. And then you feel good. And then you feel like shit. And then you're getting pissed off. Like, it's just, it's a cycle. It's this back and forth crazy cycle that you guys are in right now. Um, whether it's you causing the stress or the other person or situation causing the stress is being caused. It's like there's, um, there's brief happiness and then, bam. So with the three of uh, wands in the reverse, things just co aren't coming back in the way that you want it to. Things aren't, um, you know, transpiring the way you wanted it to. And because of that, you're going to be like, you know what? I'm going to take a new route, possibly on your own. So it could have been, you know, with business. It could have been, you know, with a partnership. But I feel like it just wasn't happening the way you wanted it to. So now you're going to be the fool. You're going to take that step off the ledge. And you're just going to go towards something new. And you're talking about it. And you're ready to do it. Now the next card for your future is a three of swords. In the reverse. And I'm not surprised to see that there. Because there's so much back and forth. So I feel like whatever situation you guys were in was just extremely um, unstable. So with the three of swords, this could be... This could be you in denial, like, I cannot believe things went down this way. Like, I can't believe I'm, how the, how the hell did I get here? Or it could be you, you know, telling somebody else, like, you know, I'm good, I'm good. But really, deep down, it's like you're still, you know, really bothered and hurt about whatever could have been that's going on. Could have also been a third-party situation with this being in the reverse. And again, this Knight of Wand comes out. So, you know, I feel like this is more like a love situation where you may have wanted somebody, but they were just way too unreliable. Or you were just way too unreliable, and it just... I don't think it was reciprocated the same way. And it was something that you were hoping for. Okay? You're definitely hoping for this thing. Now the last card you guys have for the future is the Nine of Swords. Alright? So, yeah, I, I really see a whirlwind of emotion here, guys. You know, there's this back and forth. I feel like there's someone really pulling your emotional strings. And you guys have to stop and tell yourself, like, do I really want to be in a situation where I'm constantly worried? Because I always say that, you know, in matters of love or even with jobs, whatever it is that you do in life that you have to invest your energy into, um, you should be investing your energy into something where it can grow into something more. Okay, so something where it's going to be positive, something where, you know, you're going to have your girl or your guy saying, yo, babe, like we could do this, yo, babe, I see your potential. You know, just someone who's going to bring you up. And if they're giving you this back and forth whirlwind, it's, it's not worth it. Okay. And it's like you're worried, but you're getting over this pain. Now, keep in mind, with the Nine of Swords, this is self-inflicted. So this is you guys, you know, thinking way too much, creating scenarios that might not even exist in your head. If someone's being unreliable, just let it go. Because there's arguments here. And I feel like someone's still going to be trying with you guys. All right? Let me get one more card here. Okay. Yeah, you have the Ten of Cups. All right, so I feel like you're losing something that you felt was really stable or that you really, really wanted. It's like, no, I wanted this happy ending with you. And it's like you're stressed out and pissed off that it's not happening that way. It's like you have to pick up everything and go. I feel like you guys put um, a lot of faith into someone and it's just, you felt like it was a waste. I feel like they didn't respect you as much as you respected them. Or it could be vice versa because you guys are in the reverse here too, so... It's not just the other person doing it. I feel like it's definitely an even back and forth. We have the Knight of Wands in the reverse twice. Um, and then you guys come up in the reverse twice. And honestly, I think that, you know, you guys in the reverse is ten times worse than the Wands in the reverse. Because the Wands are kind of just like, 
you know, they'll have an ego, they, they talk shit, they're kind of like screaming and stuff like that, just being dramatic, but, um, you know, with any of the swords in reverse, they're, they're really like coming to get you, like, you guys in the reverse, I'm scared, <laughs> like, it's something I wouldn't want to be involved with, so whatever this is, I just feel like it's bringing out the worst in both situations, okay, I mean, in both parties, rather, so whatever this is, I just don't think we're serving you. I see you guys wanting stability. I see you guys wanting to be strong. I see you guys wanting love, wanting a good thing. But it's like it's not coming easy. In the future, there could be, like I said, there could be a new start coming. So, you know, this didn't transpire the way you wanted it to. So you're going to take that full card and you're going to take that page of pentacles. You're going to talk about bringing something new into your life. And, you know, you, I could even read this a different way. You know, you guys could be starting something new after leaving behind what happened in the past. Because here you are, like I said, you had to in your present moment, you had to hit the ground running. It was just something that uh, you weren't going to be in. Either you moved or you just moved away from the person or situation. But I feel like possibly something new could have been coming in. And this is something that you have been hoping for. So maybe this person from the past, because now we got the Knight of Wands in the reverse again. So maybe this person from the past who was unreliable is now coming back in and they're like, oh, wait, like you moved on? Oh, you're doing something else without me? And they could be upset. And that could be why the Three of Swords is in the reverse because it's like you're just trying to move on and this person like still keeps coming up in the future. And you could be worried because, you know, you, you finally left it. And there's always that... Uh, there's always that feeling that we have when we start a new venture, whether it be with business or, you know, just a new relationship where it's like, you're not sure. It's like, is this going to be the right move? And it's like, you have that little bit of hesitance. And I feel like that's what may be happening. You guys are starting something new, something that could, you know, lead to this emotional fulfillment here. All right. And it's like, you're picking things up. It's like, you know what? That didn't work out for me, but I'm picking up and I'm moving on. And there could be some arguments possibly coming from this Knight of Wands in the reverse or just someone or a situation in the past that just, it's like they were unreliable and you were trying and trying, but every time you tried and you gave them a chance, they just fucked up again and they, you know, did their own thing or the situation or the job, like they were shady again and they, they still didn't listen to what it was that you wanted. So you guys finally move away and then this person is going apeshit and you're just like, what? You know, so I feel like, again, you guys may have brought out the worst in one another. So that's something that you just have to keep in mind. And I think it's best if you move forward, honestly, because I think um, it'll serve you better not to have so much drama in your life. OK, or at least find a way to take a different approach, because with all these reversals, there's really people like at each other's throats, I feel. OK, so I am going to pull you guys an Earth Magic Oracle card like I do every month for my regular um, monthly readings and the mid-month readings. So let us see what is going on. And for those of you who um, are new to the channel, I'm using the Earth Magic Steve, um, Oracle Cards by Stephen D. Farmer. Okay. What is some advice for Libra from July 15th to August 15th? Here we go. All right. I think this card is going to be really good for you guys. So let's see. You guys got wolf instinct. Okay. All right. Some of the strongest characters of our brother and sister wolves are loyalty, companionship, playfulness, and affection. They are exceptional parents and take great care of their young. We see similarities to wolves and domesticated dogs, particularly in certain breeds, yet these tamed and distant relatives have long ago transferred their loyalty and pack behavior to humans. Yet, wolves are still carnivorous wild animals, surviving by seeking out whatever food is available that meets their dietary needs. This is instinctually driven and is the most basic and natural drive that all living things possess. Possess. <laughs> Over the centuries, the encroachment of civilization into the wolves' natural territories and the periodic scarcity of game have prompted these beings to hunt whatever they could, which at times include a rancher's or a farmer's cattle or sheep. This, in turn, has triggered a desire for revenge by these people so that they hunt and kill wolves, which has decimated their ranks. It's the so-called civilized world clashing with the world of the wild and instinctual. You have lost touch with your instinctual sensitivities. It is a result of cultural and a religious 
prescriptions dictating that anything wild and instinctual is threatening and therefore has to be controlled or eliminated. Now is the time to overcome this limited mindset and tune into these instinctual cues. Let the spirit of wolf be your teacher and call upon this benevolent being for help identifying what these specific cues are saying. Shed some of your inhibitions with only guidelines being to do no harm. Experiment by getting out of the straitjacket of familiar societal norms and listening to those sensations in your gut that are trying to give you a message. It may be warning or urging to take action of some sort. Take some deep breaths and simply notice what your bodily sensations are telling you. Your mind will be the receiver of that information and your body and mind will learn to work more closely with each other once again. All right, guys, so I think that's perfect because, you know, with all this back and forth that's been happening, I think it's definitely a great idea to take a step back, breathe. It's like, is this truly serving my higher purpose? Is this person or situation who's bringing so much stress to me, you know, is this what's best? And I personally don't think it is for you guys. So, like I said, you have to take a different approach with this. You know, you guys are who you are, and you have to find um, a job, person, situation that's going to be in alignment with that. I mean, unless you're the type of person that you're doing, like, all this legal stuff where you, like, have to change. Okay, that I get if there's people around you trying to change you. But if you feel like you're genuinely a good person and you're generally trying your best, it's like, you know, everyone has their problems. We're generally trying our best. If you're not out there hurting someone and you have someone on your ass constantly telling you, don't be this way, don't do this, like, you don't need that. You need somebody who accepts you for who you are or a job that accepts you for who you are. There's plenty of people in the sea, you know? There's plenty of jobs in the sea. Well, you know what I mean. But honestly, there's always going to be something that's really going to serve you. So if something's not serving you, listen to that message. Listen to your instinctual, you know, side saying, run. Like, this isn't good for us, all right? Listen to your higher self, guys. So meditation, you know, go for a hike. Do something that's going to be serving to you. All right, so I feel you guys are going to be moving away from some bullshit, which is good and which is needed, and I think that's beautiful, guys. So I will be back um, in about a week or two with some more ratings for Libra, and if there's anything you guys need, like I said, today and tomorrow, possibly Sunday, I'll be by my computer for the majority of the time, so I will be doing readings as they come in. All right, take care, guys.